Hello, my beloved. This is the reading for the Divine Masculine. A collective reading about how does the Divine Masculine feel uh, in his mind space, how does he feel in his heart space, uh, where is his focus, and how does he see the Divine Feminine and into relationship or be single so let's see what's going on in the divine masculine's uh, space and in his mind space in his mind space he's thinking he's thinking about communication how the best way to communicate how is the best way to communicate to his divine feminine how is it the best way to say the things that need to be said? And it's an energy of uh, cutting through the BS. And he doesn't want to accept BS from the Divine Feminine. He wants the truth. Uh, he knows the truth. And um, he is communicating this on a very mature and uh, very uh, tranquil tranquility uh, way of um, of speaking um, he is in another realm he's in a higher realm so it means that he is not talking out of the uh, 3d ego masculine energy he is uh, communicating from a higher level of communication so he, it could be that he is evolving his uh, communication skill, uh, being more loving, being more um, truthful, but also um, not accepting any, any BS anymore from um, the Divine Feminine. And it could be that there is a new communication coming up that will give a crown on his uh, on his work. Um, he sees the divine feminine change uh, her way of of doing. He totally understands where she's coming from. He's totally understanding what she what she feels, how she reacts, and. Um, how she is there is a lot of a lot of communication between them um, a lot of uh, deep interest so let's see what what's going on in the divine masculine's heart space in his heart space he's in union with her he wants this union he it could be that it is someone from the past that came back in his life and um, this union is now on the verge of you know evolving um, he's supporting her he's giving her shelter he's giving her strength he's giving her support and in all of these things he is seeing a future with her even if the the path i hear even if we separate um hundred times or we argue or we have so many things uh in our lives that is not uh on on the equal level yet you know i will always support you i will always be there for you um not not as a friend as a lover as or as a friend as a lover and a, as a companion so this is the twin flame card it's the card of the union he wants to build a house with her he wants to travel with her he wants to join her wherever she's going because without her something's missing in his heart space without you i can't be um challenged you know i'm i'm not being challenged if you're not around it's giving me a lot of uh rest when you're not around but i can't do without you 
because it's this is where my my live stream is flowing i'm i'm i feel alive when i'm with you there's all 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 the time there's something happening you know there is a uh, vibration there is chemistry there is uh, love there is support there is connection there is a deep intense communication and there is chemistry so this is uh, how the divine masculine feels in his heart space towards the divine feminine where is his focus at at the moment his focus is at uh, money let's see yeah money new abundance is coming in he knows when uh, he is around her uh, that there is abundance there you know not only in in material form but also in energetic form there is abundance um, he wants to see her happy he wants to work for her he wants to show her that he's stable that he can do the things that uh, he, he needs to take action on. He, he wants to show her that he's always that stability factor. He is not showing his emotions that much, but it's being felt. It, he is stable and strong within his core. And uh, that's how where he's focusing at he's focusing about be, become stronger become more knowledgeable become uh, more interested in 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 what she is doing uh, he wants to know more about her he wants to grab that that stability he wants to see um, where she's made of if if it's you know, it's very easy for him uh, to start all over, but he can't burn bridges. Uh, he can't burn bridges because uh, it would uh, be too much hurt. So he will, he will always stick to it. He will always stick with, um, with a partner or with a Divine Feminine. Uh, he will always uh, maintain that connection and um, and that is something that that he is uh, thinking about and feeling about very deeply he is uh, getting it into the 3d is this uh, a stable possibility for me uh, to move forward because she is in my heart space and together there is abundance together there is uh, anything we can do um, I I just need to open up to a new way of looking at the world I'm um, I'm not really boxed in but seeing the things from uh, a, a 3d uh, dimensional realm very logical very uh, think think about a lot of things and he needs to see it he needs to be seen and touched for what he's seeing and what he is receiving it must must be logical for him to see he understands that there is another realm and he wants to work towards that but he is more focused on you know uh, what it's it must be tangible that's it okay so how does he see the divine feminine oh wow he's seeing her as his as his empress as um, she lives in flirtation she uh, is in abundance she is loyal she is uh, free she's in harmony and she's one with nature and she um, she creates she creates uh, things from nothing into something 
and he's seeing her doing things, taking action on, on, on the things that he is saying towards her, you know, and she is, um, he sees her as, you know, she's ticking all his boxes. He's seeing her as this fiery, sexy uh, woman. He is seeing her as that vibrant, um, loving person, this nurturing person. He's seeing her as this angelic being. But there's also an energy that he's uh, seeing and feeling in his core that all have to do with the passion uh, that she's radiating, that she is um, showing everybody uh, what she's made of, and um, that's that's not not a tale. It's 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 real. He sees her as real, as uh, outgoing, um, harmonious, loving, supporting very generous and um and he is 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 saying okay you know it just takes time he wants to be in that union with her and he wants to be next to her okay so how does he wants to approach her It's hard for him to approach her because he knows she's leaving. She's leaving a situation. Um, he is uh, communicating with her about leaving. He's communicating uh, with her about, you know, uh, uh, what shall we do in the future? What is it? Is it possible to? to meet each other, how does it work, how does he uh, wants to approach her. It's very hard for him uh, to approach her when he knows she is leaving. And that is, um, if I feel into it, it's in his heart space. It's, it's like, oh my gosh, what if you're leaving, you know, I'm not, I not, not know, I don't know when I would see you again, when I would uh, be able to touch you again, be able to connect with you again. And uh, I, don't, I don't want this. I, I, I just want you to, to have this connection with you. I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to move away from me because it gives me a feeling of emptiness. It gives me a feeling of you know, I'm, I'm, I'm losing something, I'm losing a, a part of me, okay, so that's how he, he's approaching her, he is approaching her with communication, he is uh, very communicative to, towards her, so uh, how does he see the relationship with her? Stable, fire, loyal, uh, warm, full of adventure, full of passion, full of fire, um, but also very stable. He wants that stability in his life. He wants to know, you know, uh, if you're going, are you returning to me or are you leaving? It's very hard uh, to deal with him because that's a block in his life. And it's the block about uh, ab uh, abandonment. So uh, he wants to lead um, and he wants to have time to see where did this is going and how it can develop. Okay? I hear he can love with her. There's so much laughter with her. What is the block? He has a feeling there are so that she has so many options, that there are so many things that she's doing 
that uh, he can't keep up with her. That uh, she is this butterfly and uh, she is uh, moving around, doing a lot of things, doing a lot of um, uh, projects at a time, uh, working on, on communication, working on uh, new business skills, working and he's seeing that and he and she is inspiring him and he wants that in his life he wants that in his surroundings that he say okay but you're you're giving so much when you're with me you know i um i want that all the time i want that all the time with you i want to travel with you i want to um uh, I'm here six all night, you know, I want to have uh, the adventurous life, but then I need to have time to break free, and um, that's probably the only thing, that there are too many things that keep him, keeping him stuck, it could be another relationship that keeps him stuck, it could be that there is another uh, that family is holding him tight, you know, it could be that there are um, businesses that, that needs his attention. So, um, yeah, there is a lot of things are going on. And he sees also that the Divine Feminine has many options of uh, partners around her that are interested. And, um, yeah, he's seeing that this is, you know... Uh, can she wait for me? Can she wait for me? That's what I hear. Is it possible that she wait for me? Because I want her in my life. And that's his block. What does he want to happen? He wants to grow with her. He wants to have prosperity with her. He wants to have um, um, growth with her. You know, he's seeing her growing, he's seeing her going with high speed, he's admiring her, he's looking at her, and he's seeing all the things that she's, do that she's doing. Um, there are things that he, is, that he knows, you know, that needs, to, that, that needs to change, but he also sees um, where she's coming from. He's ca he can see all the views. And he wants to grow with her because he knows when I grow with her, I have certainty, I have prosperity, I have everything. But I need to know if she's not leaving. What is he going to do about that? He is going on his own healing journey. And he knows that he is... Um, and it could be that he is walking away from a situation or an old situation um, to, to cross the ocean, to be with her, to um, uh, being and feeling all the emotions that he wants, to, that he needs to go through. Um, but I also feel that, you know, he doesn't want to feel all of it anymore. He doesn't want people leaving behind, but he's, he knows that he needs to leave people behind. Because it's not healthy. It's a toxic environment. And um, it's a toxic uh, situation that he, he, was, uh, he was in. And there is no growth, there's no prosperity, there is no, um, no, emo not, not, no, emo no emotions, there are not emotions enough um, to, to make him feel the way he feels when he's with his Divine Feminine, you know, when he's with his Empress. And... Um, there's too many emotions that uh, that it are triggering him not to make the step. 
and seeing, okay, I have a stable life, I am secure, I have all the things that I want and that I need in my life, but there is no emotion, there's no passion, there's no chemistry, there's no fire, there's no action. I'm here, you know, uh, doing the groceries on a Saturday. I'm doing the um, uh, work in the garden and or work, uh, do my work on a Saturday that needs to be done. And that's my life. And that's not what I want. I want to enjoy my life. I want to have... I'm, I'm dead if I'm not moving forward. So that's what he's going to do. He is going to leave a situation, going into another uh, situation, and going through the emotions. He is on a healing journey for himself at the moment, where he is concentrating on. What is he going to do about it? He is trying to get the balance back in his life and uh, going on this this energy of you know back and forth back and forth back and forth and he's trying to find the balance in that where is my stability where do I feel happy where do I need to go which emotions do I have to attack? What is it within me that needs to change uh, to find balance? What is, uh, why do I get triggered by all of this? Because I don't see the same way as the Divine Feminine does. So how do I get it into balance? How do I get it into um, an emotional balanced environment and um, but just like energy it's always going up and down up and down in a lemniscat in a in a double helix energy it's always energy is always moving around you know and if you are um, a, a fire sign and the other person is uh, a, an a water sign you know you create some steam you know if you create some some friction and if you are two si fire signs you know then it's always passion fun uh, alignment uh, act, uh, yeah cre creativity and and a lot of lot of energy moving around but it's also they understand each other much more than you have a water water sign and you have um, a fire sign and when you have an earth sign you know with the water and and um, to balancing everything out and most of the time you're not aware that you need all four elements to be in a stable position, you know, the world around you, you know, can be hateful, but we we need to be stable in that in that kind of, or come back to stability in the center uh, of your of your core, you know, and a reminder. Of course, you can have um, energy coming out and having. Uh, say saying things that comes out of passion but then you need to come back in the middle and come back in your heart space and you know balancing it out unless you know that you're not compatible anymore with each other then you need to move on if you're not on the same frequency anymore one is growing and the other one is not growing you need to move on and that's the the difference with the divine masculine uh, with uh, uh, and that's the opposite of the masculine and the divine feminine 
the masculine, if he is growing, you know, he's in a competition energy. He is growing, he is growing fast. And then he sees, okay, I don't see the divine feminine is growing fast enough. I get you out of the way because I need to grow. And that's how masculines leave, leave the feminine because there's no growth in, in, in a situation. But when the divine feminine starts to grow, they want to pull them down to their level. They're not going with them to grow, nay, they want to put them down to their level. And that's, that's a, a no-go. Wherever you go, it's a no-go. It always needs to be equal. So if the Divine Feminine is growing, she has the patience to wait for her Divine Masculine that he is that far that he can grow towards her. And that's the difference between the growth and the competition in the Divine Masculine and in the Divine Feminine. And the Divine Feminine, when the Divine Feminine gets pulled down because she can't grow there's only one option you know if it if it happens too much and it happened too many times she has to leave and she will leave but she will leave uh, in balance she will say okay you know we're not on the same level um, if you think about it and you are growing on your own and next year you think that you're on the same level with me i welcome you home if i'm still available and if that's not you know too bad but she is willing to wait for the divine masculine always and in that piece the divine feminine sometimes forgets herself Okay. And what is uh, the divine masculine's higher self saying about her, about this? He's saying, my divine feminine, I'm in love with you, I know this, and I'm on my way. I want this victory, I want this victory with you. I want to succeed, I want to evolve with you, I want to have fun with you, I want to feel good again. I want to do all the things that you require for me. And on, on, to be honest, I'm already there on that level, I'm already there. But only our views are, are different in some, some ways. But I'm coming in. I'm coming in for victory. I'm coming in to you, towards you, to support you, to guide you, to love you, to be there for you, to, to feel as a masculine that is asleep. I'm way, I, you woke me up. You woke me up and I'm coming out of a battlefield from the past and I'm moving forward to towards you because I want to heal this past and I want to move forward with you. I take you wherever you want to go. I'm in for a life with you. I'm in for adventure. I don't want to feel asleep when uh, I'm still alive. I want to feel alive. I want to feel everything. So he is on his way. He is on its way. Okay? But is he ready for a union? That's another question. I have to do some shadow work. I have to climb out of the darkness into the light. I don't know how to do it. I'm sending you love and I'm sending you light 
to the dark space that you are in. But I have to evolve. I have to move up. I can't be in that space where you are at at the moment. I can move up with you to the light, but I have to do it on my own um, energy, on my own tempo. I know that there is much more up there where you are. And I want to be there and I want you to be in that light and I want you to, um, to shine your light. And I see what kind of work you are doing. And I appreciate you for that. I see you as this light angel. I see you. I see how you work to transmute all the darkness. Not only within yourself, but also in people around you. And I need to climb to that light. I have to believe. And in my in my in my body I feel it, in my mind I feel it, in my higher self I feel it, but I don't feel it in the three dimensional world. I feel it all in the fifth dimensional realm. Then I feel you, then I'm connecting with you, then I'm, we are together, we are one. We are in union, but in the 3D world, there is still so much work to do. And I want to work on myself. I want to show you I can do this. I want to show you that I can step up for you. Okay? But he's not ready for that union yet. Okay? So, guys, this was it for this week. I hope you will have a really great time. And um, I will see you next time. You know, like and subscribe yourself on this channel. Uh, share it. Um, you know, and um, support my channel. Uh, if I reach the first hundred persons or the hundred subscribers I will give away uh, a free personal reading from your Divine Masculine I will channel the Divine Masculine energy and I hope you will join it okay thank you so much bye bye